Hello YouTube people, let's play a little game. I tell you a little bit about myself and you try to choose a watch for me that would fit me the best. Well, how do I dress? How do I look? Always kind of a little bit messy. I know 90% of the time I wear either kind of old t-shirt or a hoodie, something like this. By the way, I love this one. And that's kind of that's my style. Even at work, where I work, I'm a small bicycle retailer. And that's a little bit dirty work because I buy bicycles wholesale and sell them as retail. And bicycles arrive in a big box and I have to unpack them, build those bicycles, set up for selling and all. And I'm always kind of like a little bit messy on the go and a little bit dirty. <laughs> so uh, try guessing what kind of watch would fit me the best. Well, not guessing, but choose a watch for me. Maybe I gonna buy that watch and review later on. So that's good thought for ideas. You now leave a comment. So the answer is, I th well, I think you have chosen some kind of a G-Shock for me. And you would probably be right because I had this G-Shock for six months before I destroyed it. By the way, I did a lot of durability tests on this watch and you couldn't believe what kind of torture this watch can go through and still survive. The link in the description of the compilation of all those tests I did with this watch Quality is very bad of the video, but well, you're gonna be surprised <laughs> what kind of test this watch has survived. And this watch is, was awesome, especially this one, 5600 BB, I, I loved it. But uh, it always felt, looked a little bit, a little bit too sporty for me. Uh, a little bit too plastic. Uh, that face also it was a little bit too plain. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. But you know what? I'm gonna show you how the love from the first sight looks like right now. My God, it is so tiny, so cute. Oh my God, I love it. Wow. And the screen, I can tell you, it's pretty sharp. Wow, I like it. Good viewing angle as well. Wow, I love it. Okay, let's put it on the hand. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my God. Awesome. Man, this watch is awesome. Wow, it's so cute. It is so cute. I mean, wow, seriously. It, it weighs nothing. First impressions, amazing. I love it. I love it. And if you want to see the whole unboxing video, the link is in the description. So the love from the first side, I just put that little watch on my hand and just love it. And I, I still love it since then. And you know, after destroying this G-Shock, uh, I always kind of missed it. And I wanted some kind of another watch to replace this G-Shock for me to scratch that itch. <laughs> I, I'm still thinking kind of buying another one like this, but after putting this little baby on my hand, I kind of forgot about it. It, it does for me. This is my grail watch. I mean, seriously, it's my grail watch. It fits me so well. I, I, I love this watch. It's, it's wonderful. It, like, it feels like a G-Shock, kind of, but it's also slim. And it's not shouty, not big. Well, you can't say Square G-Shock is big. But come on, in comparison with this little baby. Look, I'll show you. In comparison, the G-Shock is huge. I mean, look how thick it is. And this, this little one, it just slides under a cuff. It's just wonderful amazing little watch and the screen is very sharp very easy to read i like those thin numbers i just love this watch no negatives i i go i'm gonna tell any negatives about this watch 
<laughs> well, there is one controversial thing. Uh, this light, it's famous. It's bad, you know, people say bad. No, it's not bad. It's good light. Well, 99% of the time when I use the light of the watch, it's at 4 a.m. in the morning when I kind of wake up to go to the toilet. And uh, I grab the watch from behind my pillow and just I want to see the time. What was the time? Is I, I barely open my eye and look, turn on the light. And the last thing I want at that moment is to be blinded with bright light. And at that moment, in the middle of the night where it's very dark, my eyes are just so well adjusted to the darkness. This light is just absolutely perfect for that, for those 99% of the times. Yes, I wish it would have secondary light on the other side, so it would shine evenly. But I mean, it is just perfect for that. It doesn't blind me, and yet I can see it perfectly fine. So it does. The, it gets the job done. And another thing, well, uh, speaking about this uh, rubber strap, it is very flexible, very soft. It is absolutely wonderful. It just has one flaw. You know, for example, this square G-Shock. Uh, the strap is kind of rounded up a little bit and it has those um, stands, a stands, I don't know how to say it. It kind of pushes into the body and if you lock the strap, it gets all nicely rounded. But this one doesn't have those uh, hands that would, you know, go against the body and it can go at 90 degree angle and the problem is when I put it on my hand and adjust it to be perfect so that would be on the let me do that that would be on the hole number six that's perfect fit for me and even though it fits perfectly fine but those uh, strap rubber straps kind of digging into my hand like you know, from top and from uh, below, it it's very, very good. But from the sides, it always kind of pushes in into my hand. And if I loosen it up from the sixth hole into fifth hole like that, now the face of the watch doesn't even touch my hand. The buckle doesn't touch my hand. Look, there is too much space. I don't like my watch to be this free on the hand. And still, it kind of pushes sides of my hand, but it's not a problem. Let's fix this thing. So, the water is boiling already, and what I'm gonna do, you know, it's just plastic. And when you heat up the plastic, it becomes very moldable. You can make any shape you want. So, my goal is to put it into boiling water, hold it for a while in the shape that I want to get, and it should <laughs> become something like this now it's okay this is before this is how it looks like it should become something like this so uh, I, and I don't want to damage the watch and I don't want to burn my hands so what I'm gonna do if you could see I'm gonna take a paper towel fold it once with a paper towel the face, then I take the other end of this, put it against the body and fold it again like so and because I don't want to burn my hand I'm gonna take this apply and not very softly, very gently, don't damage the watch and submerge it into the water boiling water for i don't know let's let's try 30 seconds not the watch into the water but the strap just don't put the watch into the water that's it 30 seconds let's cool it down a little okay let's remove this wet towel and 
dry it up, dry it up, and look, this is the end result. That's exactly what I want. Now let's do another one. Okay, let's wait 30 seconds now. Okay, time is up. Let's put it under, under the cold water. Let's dry it out. And here you go. That's the shape. It hugs my wrist perfectly. Now those edges are just out. And the watch pushes my wrist across the hand all evenly. Top, bottom, sides. Everything is just like putting your own hand around the wrist. So, I, I just love this watch. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna wear it like 90% of the time, this watch. It feel, I feel it fits me so well. Like, the, it's me. It's me. This watch is me. It fits. Until I put it on my hand, I didn't really... Well, I was a little bit hyped up about this watch. But I didn't know that it's gonna fit me so well. I didn't know that I'm gonna love it so much. You know, there are other options like, for example, this beauty. Absolutely wonderful watch, beautiful. But you know, doing what I do, I'm gonna scratch this watch like in a, in a time of a week. And all this shiny metal is not gonna be shiny anymore. <laughs> and speaking about that shiny metal, uh, I like how it looks like. But it kind of bothers me a little bit sometimes. When I look at the watch, I kind of, if it's shiny, I kind of instinctively look for fingerprints. Is it clean? And always I look at the watch and is it clean? I always clean it. All, always clean those shiny surfaces. Are they clean? No fingerprints? Yeah, great, fine. But every time I look at that shiny watch and I like, Mm, let's clean it a little bit, clean it. And that's, that's, that's just me. But when I look at this plastic piece of fantastic, it doesn't bother me. I can, I can touch it, I can enjoy it, I can love it. It's just, it gives me that feeling that I can just, I don't care. <laughs> and you don't even notice those fingerprints really on the, on the glass. Well, it's not glass, it's plastic, but just kind of, it's not a fingerprint magnet, this watch, that I love about this watch very much. And I like that it's black. But even though if it's, it's black, it's not plain looking like the face of this G-Shock. The face of this G-Shock was always kind of a little bit lacking. I, I always was missing something around it. And this has... It has all the details around it. Not too much, not too shouty, just the perfect amount. <laughs> I like it. And another thing, speaking about this rubber strap, when I sit next to my computer, you now I put my hand next to the keyboard and I rest my wrist on a wooden table. And you don't feel the watch. You just put it on hardwood, surface and it makes no sound it lays perfectly softly and in comparison if the watch has metal bracelet well you get used to that but still you always put you always put metal thing on the on the table and speaking about what kind of vibe what kind of feel this watch gives um, it would be easier if I would take another example and compare it with. Uh, I would say this watch is kind of on the extreme end of the spectrum of slimness, lightness, and kind of being very stealthy, cool, under radar watch. It's very stealthy and very slim, very light. So let's take a watch which is completely on the other end of things. This is Steel Dive Marine Master. <laughs> and it is super heavy and bulky. <laughs> but that's the design, that's the point. And look, compare these two beauties together. This one, like, well, I love cars. 
I, well, I love many things. I love watches, cars, cats, video games. I'm just like you, you know. And let's compare this watch uh, to a car. If this watch was a car, it would be something like Toyota Supra with single turbo that shoots flames and the noise is like hungry angry dragon <laughs> and that's th what this watch is if you would leave that and that supra would look like something out of fast and furious movie and you will leave that supra <laughs> in the parking lot and everybody would be like oh, it's a supra it's supra oh look it's a supra it's supra <laughs> and but you wouldn't be stealthy with that super <laughs> and that's how this watch feels like it's a very special watch but it's not a watch for every day like you have to have special mood to begin with to put this watch on and carry on throughout the day it's <laughs> it's very special but not for every day like like we see single turbo super boosted flame shouting Toyota Supra would be and this one is like well uh, Volkswagen Golf R32 you know for people who are not into cars it's just another random Golf you know probably black stealthed out blackened out well cool looking but nobody really cares, you know, if you leave it in a parking lot, people who are not into cars, they aren't even gonna notice it. Only those people who are into cars will be like, oh man, look, it's Golf R32. And it's like, oh, nice, nice. It's the same about this watch. Nobody cares about it. Kind of, they see, well, it's cool, stealth looking watch, yeah, whatever. But guys that are into watches is like oh nice <laughs> you get the point it's like it's not shouting it's just and speaking about even that golf no matter how rich person is no matter how many ferraris or lambos he has he still kind of lusts for that golf art too it is always special it is always a classy uh, you know and there are many old watches and you see how watches get classic classy you know uh, there are a lot of old Casios but you don't know about them only few and this is one of those that you know about the watch has to be from the beginning kind of special has has to have some kind of a charm and only then it can become a classic watch and look at it even after 50 years more or whatever it's still gonna be a classic it's, it never gets old it's the simplicity of the design the simplicity of the functions the single purpose of lightness slimness it makes it classy so it's my daily driver daily driver that I enjoy it makes me happy this watch makes me happy <laughs> I mean I love this watch it fits me so well so I don't really know what else to tell you about this watch I found my grail watch I'm happy this is a very cheap watch it, your grail watch doesn't really need to be at the limits of finances it doesn't have to be expensive it, what it has to do it has to fit you perfectly you it has to make you happy and that's it this watch makes me happy that's it i found it i found my watch <laughs> thanks for watching goodbye